Fellow electric vehicle enthusiasts, Mark here with another installment of My EV Life. I'm excited to share with you today a new feature by Rivian that's only a couple days old. It came out in last weekend's software update 2022.31.05. And the feature everyone's talking about is called Camp Mode with Auto Leveling. Now as the name implies, this allows your vehicle to auto level itself to account for uneven ground while camping. Pretty cool stuff. Now, what I'm going to cover with you today is two things. One, we'll cover the existing air suspension system and ride height adjustments that were already on the truck. This is the hardware that lets this new feature work. And then two, we're going to get into that new feature. We're going to check out camp mode and we're going to auto level my R1T truck. We'll use my slopey driveway here. We'll park the truck front to back, then we'll turn it and we'll try it side to side and we'll see how this feature levels it out. Sound good? All right, so if you could do me a favor though, just take five seconds, look for that subscribe button down below and hit that. That way you can follow along with all my EV life stories. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get out to the truck. I'm gonna start by showing you that air suspension system. The Rivian R1T has four wheel independent air suspension, which looks like this. It allows you to adjust the vehicle's ride height. So you can go low at times for better handling or aerodynamics or for towing. You can go high for comfort or clearance, or look cool. In short, you're adjusting the vehicle's height for the ride you want or need. The five settings you see here on the control panel, they're standard, high, highest, then low, and lowest. And the graphic I'll add here shows you how many inches higher or lower each setting is from standard, from as high as three and a half inches above to as low as minus two inches below. There is also the auto setting which will auto switch the height as you drive at various speeds. At lower speeds, it will be higher off the ground for clearance and comfort, and at higher speeds, it will drop you down to a lower height for aerodynamics, speed, and efficiency. Let's use the control panel now to adjust the height. I want to go to the highest setting, but first I have to say I'm going off-road to do that. Now I can select highest, and you'll see it flashing here to let you know that it's currently adjusting the height. And even some owners might have missed this, the center console has a small little icon showing you that it's adjusting the height. Here's what the truck looks like when the air suspension is raising the truck from the lowest setting to the highest. Now since raising the vehicle requires air to be compressed, it takes more time to go in this direction. About two minutes to go from low to high. So I'll fast forward a bit starting at the beginning. And at this speed, you can see that the vehicle is alternating between lifting the front and the back. And here it is going from high to low, which in real time only takes about 20 seconds. And do you know what the best part of the Rivian R1T truck's air suspension feature is? It's the ability to change ride heights on the fly while driving. Let me show you. All right, here we are driving. And I'll go ahead and move to this screen here. We see the ride heights on the right. You see that we're currently in standard. And I'm gonna drop down to low. And it's going to flash to let you know we're changing heights, but you can actually feel it. There you go, that's it. Okay, that's it for that air suspension system. Now let's move on to that new camp mode with auto leveling feature. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this feature came out through a software update. So let's take a moment to talk about how these over the air software updates get to your vehicle. Well, if you don't own a Rivian or a Tesla or an electric vehicle that gets these over the air updates, I'm afraid to say it. You're kind of missing out. They're a major selling point of owning an EV. It's like getting a new feature every month. So let me take just a second and show you what that's like. You get a notification on your phone or in the vehicle that new software updates are available. You tell the vehicle to proceed, at which point the vehicle takes over and downloads the software over the air since it has its own cellular connection. And this takes about 30 to 60 minutes. It then gives you a notification when it's done and the next time you're in the vehicle, the display explains your new features. And one last thing before we demo the feature. Check out my driveway. It's got quite a bit of slope, a little over four degrees. And we'll show that with this ball. All right, there we go. Time to check out that new auto leveling feature. I've got the truck in the driveway, nose angled down, and this way we can check out the ability for it to level from front to back. And here's how we do it. We look for the camp mode down below and I'll press that. You see other things on here like the camp courtesy and floodlights, but we're not going to cover that today. And there's our big button in the middle, level truck. Let's press that. 
We'll give a little uh, warning, make sure there's nothing in the area, close all your doors. And I say, okay, I'm ready to level. And there it is, it's now starting to level the truck. And let's just zoom in on this little image here, because I think this part's pretty slick. Now let's see what that looks like. Let's watch the truck level itself out. But since this took more than three minutes, let's just go ahead and fast forward. Notice the tail drops right away. And then the rest of the time, it's the front trying to lift as high up as it can go. And we're right about there. That's it. That's level. But let's go do that ball test just to see. And she sticks it. Now, just to be a bit more scientific, I did measure the angle. And we're still not quite there, but we're close. We're under a degree. And I could definitely sleep on this. And let me show that leveling one more time, just from a slightly different angle. And then we'll look at it one more time, but a close-up of the cylinder in action. Check out how low the truck is on the back tire, and how high it is on the front tire. As for the sound it makes, the system is actually quite quiet. But if you put your head near the wheels, you'll hear this. Now I'm going to turn the truck 90 degrees to the side, and we'll test this feature's ability to level left to right. Now the truck's going to have an easier time left to right, because with less distance from tire to tire, there's less height it's going to have to make up. And I've added a level here, so we can watch the bubble to see when it goes level. Now notice here the leveling stops. I get out of the truck, but the bubble hasn't gone to the center yet. However, we nailed it. Now the last thing we need to do together today is reset the ride height. So we're done camping, got to drive home, got to bring the car back to normal. We'll go to this camp mode screen here. We'll hit reset ride height. It's going to ask us to confirm that. And now it's telling us it's resetting and it may take a few moments. Keep all the doors closed. And the resetting back to normal height was actually pretty fast, less than a minute. Now let me share a couple observations after playing with this feature for a few days. One, it works. It's slick, it's very cool. Well done, Rivian. Two, when you open the door while it's leveling, it pauses the operation, but when you close the door, it resumes. Now watch this little clip and you'll see. Now it makes sense for Rivian to pause the operation when you open any doors, because those doors could get caught in something while it's lowering or raising the car. It's also just a safety hazard. Now observation number three is that when you get out of the vehicle and you walk kind of far away with your iPhone, the vehicle locks, which it's supposed to do when you leave the vehicle, but that completely stops the operation and it does not resume when you come back. So when you're leveling the vehicle, don't walk away and lock the vehicle up. Now the number four observation, and this is kind of a big one, this caught me by surprise, is you can overheat the suspension. And I did that on more than one occasion. Now I was using this feature on a 90 degree day, it was super hot. I must have raised and lowered the vehicle a dozen times. I leveled it probably six, seven times and a couple times it said you need to stop, let me cool down and I'll resume. And what you need to factor in is that when it overheats, you've got to sit around and wait. It could be five, six, seven minutes, but there's not much you can do. You cannot bring it back to normal height, you just kind of have to wait it out. So what'd you think? Well, that was camp mode with auto leveling on my R1T truck. Pretty slick, isn't it? Now the next time I'm camping, I'll be sure to post a video of that feature being used in the wild, and you'll get that update. Now you have to subscribe to my channel down below, so please do that if you haven't already. In fact, I encourage you to go out there and take a look at the other videos I have up on the channel. I did a really nice one last weekend of the gear tunnel, and the week before that I did the front. Next weekend I'll be in Pismo Beach, I'll get this truck out in the sand and I'll let you see how that goes. And after that I'll probably do a video of this truck bed and the tonneau cover. Now if you have other ideas or videos you want me to do, please post them in the comments down below and I'll see if I can accommodate. Other than that, I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you on the next video and you have yourself a great EV day.